So here we will determine the shape of the aura. The shape of the aura, and especially also the outer layer, whether it is smooth or rough or spiky, can tell a lot about how the person is feeling or what their personality is like. In this case, the uh, edge of the aura is slightly rough. So if a person has a very flexible outside of the aura, often also there will it will be very easy for them to form tentacles, to connect to people and places which are at different locations. If the aura shape is a little bit more rigid, then often this is an indication that the person is more centered on their own body or on their own location, rather than dreaming of faraway places. What we notice here is that the person is not actually in a, a very aggressive state, so there is no uh, real spikes going on, but the aura itself is also rough, this, so this shows that the person is in a way slowing down or limiting the energetic contact between them and their environment. This is often an indication that um, there have been energies around them which are not per se aggressive or harmful, but also they're not easily dealt with or easily digestible. So often this is a sign of a person who finds their situation to be challenging or uh, stressful. If the person gets very stressed, often the person will show a more aggressive reaction, but this is not the case uh, in, uh, this is not the case here. As to the shape, we tend to find that people who have more energy in the front part of the aura, they often have a very strong desire to manifest their will. They are, tend to be a little bit pushy. While people who have a lot of energy in the rear of their aura, they tend to be very accepting. They tend to be easygoing and to be okay with everything, uh, rather than manifesting their will. In this video, I'm determining the shape of the aura. The way we do it is very similar to in a way, the aura penetration, except that we don't go in. So we don't adjust ourselves, so that it's very easy to feel the resistance. And you follow the line of equal resistance. So just like you can follow a line of equal temperature around the globe. And here you see that even though the aura is quite large from the front, it is more narrow from the side. So I'm in a way moving already much closer to the body. Here we are seeing the back of the aura. So as you can see, the left-hand side is quite a lot closer to the body than actually the rear is. The front and the rear are more or less balanced in how far the aura is uh, sticking out. But we also see here that the right hand side is actually a little bit larger than the left hand side. But still the area is a little bit flattened, rather than completely round. Since it is a little bit difficult to uh, see the shape of the aura, if you're looking at it sideways, I will here draw it in the snow. So the front of the aura is rather smooth and rounded, but on the left hand side, the aura becomes a lot weaker and more narrow. Well, on the right hand side it follows a more rounded shape. So in this case this is the shape of the aura which we have now determined. So what we see here is that the aura shape is quite irregular. So the first thing we notice is there is much more, uh, you could say, volume of the aura to the front than to the back. So this is a person who prefers to work a lot 
with their willpower and who is very interested in getting things done according to that uh, that will rather than accepting the way things are or um, just being content with the situation and managing within the means which would be a person with a very opposite aura but the imbalance is not that great so this person although willful also has sufficient adaptive capability but that's not the preferred way of handling situations other than that we notice that there's a big imbalance between the left and the right um, there's a lot being said between one side being the rational or the irrational side or the masculine or the feminine side um, personally what I notice is more whether it is the side of the dominant arm or the uh, non-dominant arm often the side where the uh, dominant arm is is the side where the person tends to initiate so most actions where they're the very the interested in dominant the in the shape of the aura and especially also the outer layer whether it is active, smooth or rough or spiky. while the non-dominant side tell a lot about how the person is feeling or what the personality is more like. to contemplation to feeling in this um, case the understanding uh, edge so of the aura is slightly rough like this so where if a person has a very flexible very outside well developed, aura, and often the non-dominant side will be is very easy for the underformed tentacles to you connect that the people and be a little bit which are um, at different locations. locations. At times. If the uh, aura shape be, is a little bit uh, more rigid, inconsiderate, then often this or, is an indication um, that the person is more centered on their own body uh, or on their own can location. Also have an egocentrical viewpoint, not because they are by definition very selfish people but because they don't process the information which is more uh, on a lower level of consciousness as deeply as they do the active uh, things so a person like this tends to be more practical than uh, theoretical 